and welcome to Gypsy Woman Homestead. I'm Lisa and today we are canning um, pineapple. Um, I got a really good deal on some pineapple, a, a fresh pineapple for a dollar a piece. Uh, so I, I bought a few and um, you want to know something funny is I went yard selling right after I bought the pineapple. I found this Pampered Chef pineapple slicer and I got it for a dollar fifty which pamper chef, that's a deal. So I thought that was just kind of humorous and um, exciting. So I already have cut up my pineapple. I have it, um, it has been brewing in a syrup for about 10 minutes of um, three cups of water, two cups of sugar. Um, it will, I've got about 45 more seconds to go. I did heat up the sterilize the jars only because We've got hot liquid going into hot jars, so we don't want to take a chance of the glass breaking. So let's get, I'm going to get two out. I'm not real sure if it's going to have enough for three or two pints. Because you know, after you chop up a pineapple, it's, a lot of it is the outside and the core. So let me go ahead and turn this off. All right. And this is just your handy dandy um, instrument to get your jars. You can do them like this to get them out of the oven when you're sterilizing them. And then when you go to get them out or put them in a thing to pressure can, you can just stick it in like so. That way it saves your hands. All right, so this is the pineapple. And it's been, like I said, it's been simmering. Don't boil it, just bring it up to a heat. Uh, high heat and um, just let it simmer for between 10 and 15 minutes. So we're going to take our jars. Yes, that jar is hot. And let's start filling up our jars. That jar is hot too. Get it closer to here. And we want to make sure it has at least a half an inch headspace. And why do we have headspace? We have headspace because these are gonna be pressure canned. They're gonna be pressure canned for five minutes at five pounds of pressure. Now the reason we give headspace is because when it starts canning, that everything's gonna start building up in it, the pressure, and it's gonna start boiling. And if you don't have the headspace to give it room, to, to rise, then it's going to go and spill over, which will leave sticky residue and maybe even fruit on your lid, on your seal, which means that, that your seal, that it, your product will not seal correctly, and then there will be spoilage. So to keep that from happening, you give a headspace, so when it starts doing that, it has plenty of room. I'm going to put a little bit more fruit to balance out the liquid in here. Okay, that's good. And I think, yeah, I think the rest of this will go in this one. So, three pineapples after it was cooked down turned out to be two pints of pineapple. And this was, I just diced the pineapple up. Um, nothing fancy. don't really have to worry about air pockets on this because the liquid has gone in with the fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, but really, in my opinion, there's no need in it. So we're going to take something plastic, never metal, and just kind of go in it like this. Make sure there's no air pockets, which like I said, there's not going to be since we put the liquid in with the fruit instead of packing the fruit and then putting the liquid in. If that makes sense to everybody. Okay. 
So now we're going to take, I take a piece of paper towel. And again, remember what I said about making sure that the rim was clean? Um, we don't want anything on the rim so that it has a good seal. So I take a piece of paper towel and it has a little bit of vinegar on it. And then we're just going to wipe around and I always go back over it with my finger make sure it's clean I think this one could have another wipe make sure it's clean and make sure there's no cracks or chips we do this one go around yep that's good and then you take your clean these have not been sterilized but they have because they're going in the pressure canner um, if they were going to be water bath then you would need to sterilize these um, I washed them very well with hot soapy water, so they're very clean. So you're going to put them on the jars. And there you go. And I did some cherries earlier, so I'm going to be pressure canning them all at the same time because they take the same amount of time. They take um, five pounds of pressure and for uh, ten minutes. I think I said five minutes earlier, but it's ten minutes. Um, so yes, so there you go. You have your pineapple. I know this, I make, I make uh, my pineapple casserole for the holidays. So this will be perfect. I mean, for $3, um, you know, I have fresh pineapple that I canned myself with nothing in it but the syrup and the fruit. And um, you, it's, you couldn't get it uh, cheaper at the store and you don't know what's all in it, so. There you go. I'm excited. Thank you guys. And come and visit us again. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below. And if you click on the bell, um, it will notify you every time I have a new video. Thanks. Bye.